Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, what we're going to be doing is trying to cut another IR filter. So I removed it from its filter holder, the glass piece. It did crack it. It was pretty tough to get out. But there's enough of a piece that I'm going to go ahead and cut. Now, I'm going to use a 1.7 millimeter diamond burr uh, end mill. I'm going to cut this at 3 millimeters a second, so a lot slower. The last one I was trying to do at 20 millimeters a second. Uh, I'm going to go, I think, 0.2 step down. Uh, so this is a little short of 2 millimeters, so it's going to take around 10 passes to cut this. So it's going to take a little while. Uh, so I've got this set up. I've got it in the water bath. I've put some, um, some HD detergent in there for lubrication to keep uh, everything, you know, kind of loose. I did put some uh, blue painter's tape over top to kind of line everything up because I am going in the center. So what I did is... Uh, also, when I, so when I come down on the glass, I don't mar the glass at all to set it. Then I lifted the uh, bit back up. I did a, um, a G0Z5 to bring it back up. So I'm clear for my movement. And this is going to be a 19 millimeter circle that we're going to go ahead and cut out of here. So I've got all the G-code loaded up, Universal G-code sender. So I'm going to zoom in, go to time lapse, and let's see how this one cuts. So here we are back from the time lapse and we have success folks cut out a perfect circle. There was a little bit of flaking as it cut through but really a pretty darn clean cut. I'm very happy with this and you can see it pops into this filter holder. So I'm making these for the, my Mavic Pro. So I can successfully now take and uh, actually cut an optical filter and use it for my Mavic Pro. So I can buy you know cheap filters off of uh, eBay, take them on the CNC and actually cut them down to fit the Mavic. So I can fly all kinds of interesting filters now. So I've 3D printed this carrier. You'll see this in a, another episode and also I'll talk more about this over on my video drone channel. Uh, but I used 3D printer to print this out and then a CNC to cut the glass. And so if you need to do precision glass cutting, um, you know again there was, there was a little bit of flaking in the edges but you notice I have an edge in here so it sits with inside that edge so no problem at all so it worked out great so anyways I'm giving this one a big thumbs up after it got me the first time around I got it the second time around so really happy don't forget swag shop up there let me know of any comments below anything else you think I need to cut like this or any other kind of cool filters I should work with let me know below this is a 950 uh, IR cut filter this is probably a little bit high but I don't really use the 950s that much, so I decided to, uh, you know, just kind of use it as a sacrificial experiment. I am going to fly it, see how it works, but I'm not expecting too much. I want to go down to about the 720 nanometer. But anyways, again, big thumbs up, swag shop up there, and we'll catch you guys in the next video when we make something. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.